Hey everybody, this is Perch, and who, who's, who's with me today? Me. You. You're eating something. This is already off to a bad start. A frozen grape. A frozen, okay. A frozen grape. If you haven't tried it, try it now. Try it now? Why, why, why is it so good? Because it's like a grape, and yeah. then it has an outer layer of frost, uh -huh. and then it takes forever to eat, and it's good. Okay, those are uh, solid reasons for liking food. Well, look, you haven't been on the channel for a while. People have been asking how you're doing. How are you doing? Good. Are you enjoying Texas? Yes. You are? What's your favorite part about it? Um, that they have lots of grapes that I can freeze. Oh, okay. You heard it here. Texas is the state of frozen grapes. All right. Well, um, yesterday we went to see a movie. Yeah, because down in Washington, they don't have many frozen grapes. They don't have grapes? Are you? I, would you rather do this video about grapes or the movie? Grapes. Yeah. Okay, that kind of bodes ill for what we're going to do here. Well, unfortunately, we do need to do the, the movie. All day. Okay. Come on, try, try and... You you're sound like you're, you're just... This is a ridiculous sound. Should we, I know. Should we pause it and wait until you're done? No. Okay, well, let's, let's try and talk nicely. It's been a long time since you've been here. So we went to see The Marvels, yep. which had Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. So first of all, you were looking forward to this movie, sort of, right? You, you, you weren't really that interested, but then when you saw the trailer, you got kind of excited to see it. You said you wanted to go see it. How, how did you like it? It was okay. It was okay? Yeah? What was uh, your favorite part about the movie? All the barfing, squid eating cats. You like the cats that barf things? Yeah. Is that that's, that was the highlight of the film? Yeah. What was the worst part of the film? Mm, probably. Okay. <laughs> um, Just going to have some dead air here. That green guy. The green guy? Yeah. The scroll. He looks weird. He didn't like the way the scroll looked. Why is he green? Now? He's an alien. That's just his skin color. He's an alien. He also had big pointy ears and a weird chin. That doesn't mean alien. Aliens? People always think aliens are supposed to be green. They could be pink. That's okay. That's true. There could be pink aliens. I think there were in Guardians of the Galaxy. Weren't there some pink aliens that they encountered? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Are cold. You're, yeah, because you've been eating a frozen grape. Yeah. But you're done now, so you can talk normal. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. So, so set it up for us. So, if you were, if your friends were, were talking to you, what's this movie about? Um. Like, give us the plot that you gathered from the movie. First, it starts with this girl that is uh, overly too excited about Miss Marvel, and then they all meet up and. And like they all like meet up, and then they all keep switching places, and then they meet these weird green alien guys. Yeah. And then they go on a bunch of quest things, and then two characters. I was gonna say die, but they didn't die. Well, they did stuff. They did. The end. They did stuff. <laughs> they. Your review of the movie is they did stuff. The end. Pretty much. How about the singing planet? Did you like the singing planet? Not really. Why not? I don't know. You don't know? Is it just you didn't like the singing and the dancing? Yeah. Did you wonder in the movie, so so remember in the movie, the, what's the bad guy trying to do? It's this little cuff thing. Get the bracelet? Yeah. Why didn't she just go to Claire's? That's a good question. Yeah. Why didn't she just go to Claire's? She could have just got saved herself a lot of trouble. But anyway, she, she's trying to bring um, resources, air, water, and then the sun to her home planet, right? So she's trying to suck it through the weird purple hole. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the, the plot of the movie. And did you wonder what happened to the singing planet? Because she basically stole all her water and the heroes took off. What, what happened? They died. The, the entire planet is dead. They went oof. They went oof. Even at the end of the movie, at the end of the movie, um, they they're like Captain Marvel's moving into that that house. Remember, and then she there's this dish with her and the prince that she was kind of 
married or engaged to or whatever. And she's like, ah, I don't want that. But that's a pretty crazy way to talk when that planet was more or less decimated and the people are, are best case scenario, uh, have no water or natural resources now and the planet's going to die or the entire planet's already dead. And she's like, ah, you could keep that, that stupid token. Do you, do you, do you remember that? No. No? Okay. Maybe it was just me. All right. How about the villain? Did you like the villain and her big hammer? No. Why not? I don't know. I just didn't like her. Didn't like her teeth? I didn't like anything about her. Yeah. Would you go but now if they do a Marvels 2, would you go see it? Mm, maybe if it included the barfing cats then I'd go. What if the movie was just cats? Would that make it better or worse? That'd make it much better. Okay. So you're basically um, your view of this is more cats, less human beings. Yeah. Of the of the Marvel characters. You, which one was your favorite? You have Captain Marvel, Monica, and uh, Miss Marvel Kamala. I guess um, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel Kamala was the best one? No, like the other Miss Marvel. Captain Marvel? Yeah. You like Captain Marvel the best? Yeah. What about Monica? Uh, I don't know. In the comic books, Monica was my favorite. In this one, see, she seemed kind of whiny. Wait, was my, Monica the one from... Um, WandaVision. Oh, then I like her. You like you liked WandaVision, right? Yeah. Has that been your favorite show? Yeah. More than any of these others? Yeah. You did like Miss Marvel at the beginning, but then you said it was cringy. Well, they they changed Miss Marvel a lot. Did they? Like in the comic books. Yeah. You gotta face the you gotta face the microphone. They yeah. changed her a lot. They changed her a lot. Yeah. So if would you recommend this movie to your friends? No, because all my friends and me talk about our drama happening in school. You, you just talk about drama in school? Yeah. That makes me feel really good as a parent. Um, I asked you before, you know, superhero shows. What's your favorite superhero show right now? WandaVision. WandaVision. What about uh, the villains of Valley View? Ooh, that's a good one. How about Thundermans? Thundermans, I can't find that other seasons, and I've already watched all the episodes, like, twice. Yeah. Would you rather watch Thundermans or The Marvels? Thundermans. How about the uh, the Villains of Valley View? I'd rather watch Villains of Valley View. Now, how old are you, for people maybe wondering? Ten. Ten, okay. So you're the new generation? How about, okay, I got another one, because I know your sister likes this, I think, more than you do. How about One Piece? Would you rather watch One Piece or Marvels? Mm, I don't know. One Piece, we're in a stage area where it's just kind of boring. The Dressrosa arc. Yeah. Yeah, that gets a lot of people. Well. And you said it was like, it took, and you said it was like six million trillion episodes to finish and then go off Dressrosa. Yeah, it's not quite that many, but it does feel like that sometimes. Well, listen, thank you very much. Anything you want to say to the crowd here? Um, oh, uh, there's er. Uh, Go ahead. What's that? Okay, you're... Roblox oof noise. Robo no, don't play Roblox oof noise. This is what I want to say. Uh, here in the second. Okay. <clears throat> That very good. All right. Well, thank you for that. All right. Bye bye. Okay, now we have uh, daughter number two. Technically, daughter number one. Yeah. Because you were first. Okay, this is the older daughter. Uh, how have you been doing? Good. Okay, but you haven't been on the channel for a while. People have been actually asking how you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. School sucks. Yeah. No. Okay. You've been you've basically grown up on the channel. You realize like there's been four grades where you've you've gotten older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What grade are you in now? Uh, eighth. Eighth grade. Jesus. Anyway, and how are you liking Texas? It's okay. What's your What's your favorite part? Mm. Long pause. 
Still, well, we come back to this. Later. Okay, well, <laughs> all right. Well, speak up, nice. Um, so I, we talked to your sister. Uh, she was mostly interested in talking about frozen grapes, but uh, <laughs> but the uh, the purpose of it is to talk about the Marvels. So so uh, we went to see the Marvels. How did you like the Marvels? It was okay. Okay, it was okay. It was okay. Were you excited to see it? A little bit. Was the movie you wanted to see more? Uh, yeah. What one? The Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Okay, Five Nights at Freddy's movie better. Mm-hmm. Well, you haven't well, seen it yet. You don't know. Could be, though. Maybe. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the Marvels? The cats. The cats? The cats. The cats. They're just cats in general or the cats eating people or vomiting them just out? Just the cats in general. Okay. Uh, what was your least favorite part of the movie? Uh, kind of everything else. <laughs> everything else. Okay. Did you like the singing planet? No. No. Um, what about the Captain Marvels? You had three of them. You had Captain Marvel. You had Monica uh, from WandaVision. I thought they were all like Captain Marvels. Well, no, they're they're kind of all the Marvel. There's Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. There's Captain Marvel, um, Carol Danvers. And then there's Monica, who in the comic books was a Captain Marvel, is now called Spectrum, and in the movie had no name. And they were calling her Professor Marvel, sort of. Mm. Which is your favorite of the three? cats <laughs> is it the cats yes not you didn't like any of the characters they were okay how about the villain with the hammer do you remember the villain this kind of reminds me of my pe teacher last year oh okay great <laughs> wanting to suck the air and life off of other planets <laughs> no like the way she looked okay with gold teeth no okay. like just in general okay well that's great i'm, I'm glad that your pe teacher looks like a you know, Supremer of the Cree Empire. Uh, that's that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so uh, what uh, what would if you were to describe this movie to friends, how would you describe it? Mm, I don't think I would describe it to my friends. Why not? They, either they don't have any interest in it, or they've already seen it and they don't need me to explain it. Did any of your friends watch it? I don't know. <laughs> wow, the enthusiasm just pours through here. Um, what uh, What about the, did you like the Kamala Khan character? No. Why not? I don't know. She just, I don't know. You didn't like the fangirl aspect? No. Why not? I don't know. It, you, you kept saying cringy in the movie. Yeah. Pretty loudly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. All right, well, well. Is there, think about uh, the other superhero movies you've seen. Is there a superhero movie you liked better? Mm, I don't know. No, you, I can't remember. You can't. Is there a movie you liked worse? Um, there probably was one, but I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, a memorable movie review here. Anything <laughs> you want to say outside of this? 205 days until National Cheese Day. <laughs> Two, okay, well, that's, that's good to know. Both of you are obsessed with food today. She's got her frozen grapes, you've got your cheese. It mentioned cheese once. Well, yeah, yeah but you, you got a lot more excited about cheese than anything else in the movie we were talking about. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we got nothing. All right, um, an exciting, riveting movie review from the uh, audience of tomorrow. Anything you want to say to the to the crowd? You haven't talked to them in a long time. At one point, you wanted to take over the channel. I don't. It doesn't seem like. When did I say that? Oh, you said it multiple times. When? On the air, like in other videos, you talked when? about killing me off and taking over the channel. I thought that was you. No, that was you. Why would I say I was going to kill myself off and take over my own channel? You said that I was going to do that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. We have a debate. Anyway, um, any last words? Bye. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Hey, everybody, there's uh, two kids talking about their experience with the Marvels. Curious what you think if you watch this movie. Thanks for listening. You should ask for Luffy's opinion. The dog? Yeah. The dog didn't go. Maybe you should ask for his opinion. But why? Because, uh, I don't know, why not? Okay. Why not indeed? Thanks for listening. All right. So one more voice to hear from. We've heard from uh, both of the daughters and now I've got Mrs. Perch here. How are you doing? Doing well. All right. You haven't been on a channel in forever. Nope. Nope. Um, 
so uh, we we, I, we attempted to get the girls to talk about the movie that we went to watch yesterday, but one um, was really more interested in talking about frozen grapes, and the other uh, didn't remember most of the movie, and then um, seemed more more excited about talking about cheese. We asked her, um, I, you know, I asked both of them because people have been asking how how they're liking Texas. Um, one daughter said she liked the frozen grapes and the other daughter uh, said, let's come back to that. But we never did. So how, how are you doing? How are you liking Texas? Um, I'm adjusting slowly. Okay. A um, lot, lot of different things going on here to process. Okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's fair. All right. So uh, the movie, we went to watch this movie yesterday. Were you surprised by the by the theater? Yeah, yeah, barely found a seat <laughs> among <laughs> among the the three occupied ones. <laughs> three three people in the theater. Three people in the theater. Yeah, yeah, on opening weekend. Yeah, that's not a good sign. No. Um, and and it was theater after theater after theater showing the movie. Yeah. And they were all empty. They were all yeah. No, did you poke your head in some of the others? I did. Yeah. They were all empty. They were. And this is a major theater. This yeah. isn't like a, a weird shack theater. Right. Yeah. Mm. Um, anyway, pretty crazy uh, for that. But uh, so the movie itself, uh, what did you think? What was your take on the movie? Uh, it seemed more uh, like it was geared toward a young audience. Uh, like the audience that likes the grapes and the cheese? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if they were huge fans of it either. Well, they were not. And, yeah. and, um, it, it felt like it, they were trying to cater to the kids, trying to show that female empowerment in that sickening way that, that <laughs> Hollywood thinks it should be portrayed, which I totally disagree with. Um, they just played to I, the audience here on this channel pretty hard <laughs> right there. People are not expecting that one. Uh, um, did you find it weird? I asked the, uh, the younger daughter about this, um, and she didn't really remember. But did you find it strange? There's one moment in the movie that nobody's talking about where they go to the singing planet. Did you like the singing planet, by the way? Oh, my gosh. It, it fulfilled the, the diversity requirement, I think, yeah. for the movie. That's, I think, <laughs> everybody in there looked so happy yeah. to be there. They were so happy that they had a spot in the movie. It, it just felt like they were... Checking that diversity box yes. to me. I, <laughs> I didn't, by the way, I, I didn't prompt any of this. Um, <laughs> so they're out in this singing planet. And the villain's basic scheme is like an old Star Trek plot of stealing air, water, <laughs> and sun. Yep. And she basically uh, opens up the big purple hole and sucks the water off this planet. The heroes escape. Yeah. What happened to that planet? Oh, at the end they said that um, it was... Uh, they were going to be able to fix it. <laughs> Just fix fix the water. I, yeah, I, but I forgot. What you have to imagine that they said that planet was ninety percent water or something, or some yeah. very high amount of water, and they sucked all the water off. At the end of the movie, they're helping Carol move in, and they come to this plate that has her and the prince on it, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Ah, you could keep that. I don't want that." <laughs> and like, there's a good chance that guy's dead. Yeah. And that planet has been decimated. Mm -hmm. it, it feel like a weird, that was a weird moment. Yeah. Anyway. I, I don't think you were supposed to think that far into it. You're, you're thinking more than yeah. the director. <laughs> now, uh, there was one, <laughs> there was one thing that both girls liked a lot. And uh, they, can you guess what it was? The cats eating people. Yeah, they did like they, the cats. I think both, um, especially the younger one, really seemed excited about the idea of a Marvel's 2 sequel, but without any of the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just cats. Would that have made a better movie? Do you think? Yeah, I think uh, that could have been a much better movie. Yeah. So you weren't a fan, I take it. No. 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 Is there are, are there worse superhero movies you've seen? Um, I'm not sure. I none come to mind right no. now. The, <laughs> there was that that uh, Hulk movie a long time ago that was. Piece of crap. But <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. I, I don't know. The whole movie that was a piece of crap. Which of the three Marvels did you like best? Ooh, ooh, such a <laughs> such a tough decision. 
Oh boy. <laughs> um, let's see, I like the black and white suit on Monica. <laughs> okay, you like her suit best. Okay. That kind of a Lululemon feel to it. It did, yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, we'll just, you're going to go with cats. <laughs> yeah, cats. Cats eating cats. All right. Well, there you go. You've heard from the whole family about this movie. Um, I think I thought there would have been worse. I, I think the, the yeah. Wakanda Forever was a mess to me. And the Eternals movie, I think, was worse. Um, I didn't like Moon Knight, that series. I don't know if you, you remember that one. Um, there was... I, I think you disliked that one a lot more than I did. Yeah. You know, the... the She-Hulk? How about the... <laughs> well, I didn't see any twerking in this one. Yeah, that's so. true. We didn't. You didn't look at the dancing carefully, though. They could have been in there on that uh, dancing planet. Yeah, it, there could have been. Um, could have been twerking there. It's part of the native custom of the uh, planet. You know, in Wakanda, when they got all of the women together to yeah. fight, that's what this one reminded me of. Yeah, they did that in the Avengers as well. That one moment where they yeah. all kind of rallied. Yeah. All right, well, folks, there you go. Uh, you've heard from all three people. I asked the two of them, do you have anything else to say? And they both said they didn't know. Well, mine was like the, one of the, oh, there were so many eye-rolling moments in there, but one that really stood out was when Monica was getting charged up by the other two and that orgasmic look on her face <laughs> as she's getting powered up. It's like... Excellent direction. Right Jealous? There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening.